This is a video demonstration of how to manage self-attested attributes through Orbit Enterprise. And so there are certain use cases where, as a verifier, you may be willing to accept self-attested attributes in your proof request. And so use cases that maybe um, require lower integrity data or just have lower risk generally and meet your policies, you'll be okay with accepting self-attested attributes. So we're going to look here through Orbit Enterprise how this three-star hotel organization is going to do a uh, proposal to another organization. And so they're going to select their connection, which in this case is government, and they are going to put a credential definition that they want the proposal to come back for. And so here it's a verified organization. So in this, we could just imagine a use case that perhaps a this three-star hotel is registering for a government program, um, perhaps for financing, perhaps maybe to open up a sales tax account. Um, you could think of uh, all, all sorts of different ones um, where you would be interacting with a, a government agency. And so I could see here, three-star hotel, I've selected a credential that I have within my wallet, but maybe there is other types of information that I don't necessarily have a credential for that the government is going to be requesting. So what I could do here is add an attribute and maybe it's my bank number, right? I could add a second attribute, my transit number, I could add a third one, my account number. Um, these are attributes that again, I don't have within verifiable credentials within my wallet, but perhaps I wanna be able to provide this to the government agency um, as part of this process. So not only am I providing a verifiable credential, but I'm also going to ask them to do a request for other attributes. So I'm going to send. And within my present proof, I could see here that automatically I've been sent a proof request from the government organization, which when I open here, I could see the credential I have, so I have the available credential that they're asking for. Of course, I had selected this. I could see the attribute values of this credential. I kept it simple in this one, didn't do any privacy preserving or data minimization um, uh, techniques here, just kept it quite simple, but I could see here the attribute values that I need to enter here. So my bank number typically in Canada is three digits. The transit number typically is five digits and the account number typically is seven. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide this and it's been successfully sent. So I'm going to come out of here and I'm going to enter it back through the government side of things. So I'm using my mobile wallet here as a government administrator to access the government tenant and I've been successfully logged in. And if I come here into, that was a prior proof, but if I come here into automated proofs, I can see that I've received a presentation from Three Star Hotel. And if I look at its details, I could see not only do I have the credential attributes that, I re that was requested, but I could actually also see the self-attested attributes that are in here. And so I hope this uh, video demonstration was helpful in showcasing uh, one of the ways of using self-attested attributes um, through Orbit Enterprise. Um, there's a lot of interesting use cases where you may want a combination of credentials and self-attested attributes or sometimes just self-attested attributes if uh, there is low risk in your use case. So I hope you find this useful and you can put this to work. Thank you.